my most painful chest loss in my career. Hello everyone and welcome back. So I came back from the vacation and now I will show you something, you know, very close to my heart. It was my most painful chess game, you know, in my life. It was six years ago against Grandmaster Jude Grunfeld, you know, very, very strong player. And it was in the tournament israeli final championship last round and i must admit if i could win this game probably i will take i will take the second or the third place in the tournament uh, with a very big prize money so yeah it was my painful loss not of because of the prize uh, but i will show you why so stay tuned you know, about some words about Yuri Grunfeld is a, a deaf player, um, but he able to speak. He represent Israel so many times uh, in national um, teams, of course. He played a lot of times in the Olympiad and took several times the world champion uh, in uh, disabled players. So he's very, very strong. And I must say to you guys that I played against him so many times. And before this game, I also uh, won him several times. So it was for me like a very, very important game. Uh, and yeah, I, I remember it like it was yesterday. So let's jump into it. I played with the black pieces and of course he's a e4 player and I thought before the game which opening to choose maybe the knight of maybe rouser maybe paulsen or maybe spanish so of course after the game I must say oh yeah it was a mistake why I played knight of why I uh, give him the possibility just uh, go for his preparation and uh, you know maybe win in the opening against me um, but you know i thought about it so many times after the game and yeah it was a mistake to go for it and i will explain to you i will try to explain why it was a mistake so let's go for the game and you will understand during it so e4 c5 so generally in the last round of the tournament I would like to play some long game, maybe Spanish, uh, I don't know, maybe Pirates, maybe something that just not, um, you know, coming into his preparation. Of course, he knew that I'm a Knight of player and it's very, very easy to, uh, to choose some variation against the Knight of and let's see what he choose so after knight c3 a6 this position is the knight of and he played the move bishop to g5 and i must admit in this position i have zero percent percent also with the white pieces and also with the black pieces i just lost every single game in this position until this moment and my opponent just said to himself okay you know what i will play against him bishop g5 and maybe the 100 uh, 100 percent with white pieces against me uh, will continue in this game and it really is uh, you know it really does so 97 was played by me i think overall also e6 of course is very very strong move um for you guys who playing the uh, who playing the, the night of opening i really recommend to play e6 and to see some boris gelfand games uh, with the black pieces very very uh, strong and uh, right also in the theory aspect and also uh, you know in the in the knowledge and to understanding how can you play good games good moves uh, and to improve your pieces in the night off and uh, yeah also of course the plans it's very very uh, good to see some boris gelfand or maxim vashile graf and maybe Wojtaszek here very very uh, recommend so e6 yeah also very good of course you know in, in in the past, I really thought, okay, I will play the knight of what I'm, I know, what I'm familiar with. But it was not good decision because also h6 to play, also g6, also knight c6, some maybe queen a5, I don't know. 
just something that you know blew his mind just you know uh, will crush his opening preparation and let's play some chess uh, without knowing anything it's really good for me because you know i'm up a 100 rating uh, of course i had like 2532 and he had like 2421 so uh, in general, I, I am up, right? Uh, I should be a little bit uh, better than him, um, but just don't go into the preparation. And let's see what happens. So knight bd7, queen e2. I play the move h6. Also, it's very uh, known, all of this. Bishop h4, g6, f4, e5, takes, takes, and castle. Of course, e takes d4. It's very bad move after e5. I don't know, take, take, bishop e7, just king b1, and yeah, just... Just game over, of course. So after castle, uh, I played the move queen c7, the best move in the position. Knight b3 was played, and now I had some uh, decision to to take bishop e7 or maybe to play the move b5. I choose b5 here, and now uh, White also has a choice to play queen f3 or knight d5 or rook takes d7, and this what he played rook takes d7. Of course, he was familiar with this position, and I, I must admit also I a new this move knight takes d7 of course because the knight is under attack knight d5 queen b8 the only move and now knight a5 and in this position i really uh, didn't uh, remember what to move so the best move in the position was bishop to g7 after queen f3 for example castle bishop e7 for example rook e8 knight c6 queen b7 knight d8 takes takes knight c5 black should be okay after bishop e6 I think several moves here and uh, somehow it should be a draw uh, but I, I'm not sure why and how but something around this one so after knight a5 I played the move bishop to b7 and this was first inaccuracy in in my uh, game and unfortunately it really really uh, was some luck in this position because you know after each move here I really uh, needed to think and to understand what can I play? So you play the move knight to f6 check. Of course, I will take it, right? Bishop takes. And now, okay, the rook is under attack. Let's go for it, right? Rook h7, for example. But unfortunately, after rook h7, queen takes b5. Unbelievable move. A takes b5, bishop takes b5, bishop c6, and bishop takes c6. Checkmate on the board. Unbelievable, but yeah. It couldn't ever happen, of course, but I didn't uh, fell for it, of course. I thought, okay, so, yeah, I, I have some troubles. I thought, you know, for several moments, okay, you know what? I'm just losing the game immediately, right? But no, I really uh, thought, okay, let's be calm, let's be quiet, and let's think how can I deal with it. And I found a very strong move, the move queen c7. After, of course, it took me... Uh, some time to think about it but my opponent is you know just well prepared and playing very very fast knight takes b7 i'm putting the rook on g8 of course uh, you know it was a, a little bit mistake rook h7 was a little bit better uh, i will show you why after it because the pawn on f7 will be weak somewhere uh, so rook g8 was an accuracy of course he played the move a4 and i must admit guys you know the the highest time that he had during the game was 1 hour 37 minutes. Can you imagine? We started both with 1 hour and 30 minutes and he climbed 7 minutes up. It means like he didn't, um, you know, think for, for a second, right? It's just unbelievable. And after each move in this position, I thought like 10 minutes and 15 minutes. And, it, you know, every move that I'm playing, oh, no, it's bad. He knew what to, what to do. So for, for, you know, for one second, I, I, tell, I told to myself, okay, yeah, if, if I'm playing and uh, he just, you know, controlling everything, is playing very fast, it means like I did the best move in the position, right? Because the computer is playing against me because he know it from his preparation. But unfortunately, I really didn't want it uh, to be, right? Because every move that I'm playing, and okay, one second I want him to think. One second I want to play against the human, not against the computer. Because the computer was the, the helper 
of these preparations. So every move that I played, my opponent just playing fast. B takes A4 and Queen C4, another very strong, another very quick move. Queen takes B7, Queen takes A4, Queen D7 and Queen B3. As you can see, the move is number 22 and my opponent is just playing fast as you can imagine. It's just unbelievable. And for, for now, I think I already had like maybe 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, I spent so many time. I played the move Bishop E7, I think also a very strong move. and. He took the, the e5 um, pawn and now I played bishop d6 and I was sure after bishop d6 my opponent will not, you know, I, 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 I will have the possibility to play against the human, right? Against you, the very, very good person. But I want to play against him and not against the computer. But unfortunately, after bishop d6, it also was a very strong move and he played bishop takes, queen takes, and bishop c4 immediately. 25 moves you know from the preparation and now i played the move rook to g7 and this was the first time that my opponent thought for a bit and you remember that i talked to you about rook h7 was better than rook g8 so this is the point the f7 pawn is a weak pawn and the rook on h7 will just uh, do a great job to defend this pawn so rook g7 and now my opponent uh, think for a while and in this position i th think that i had like maybe five minutes and it's very very difficult to play against someone that has you know like one hour and 35 minutes against like five minutes and we have 15 moves to play until the increment right so it was like just winning position for him of course Queen f3, uh, it was a mistake as you can see, but yeah, it was not a big mistake, uh, rook f1 was a little bit better, uh, but queen f3 also makes sense because he wants to e play the move e5, unfortunately in this position, I, I don't know, it was like, I was not in a good uh, mind, right, because rook c8 was a very very clever move, and just bring the rook, also attack the bishop on c4, and let's play some chess, and uh, just developing a, a, a piece, it's very very easy here but i played the move queen e5 rook d1 queen g5 check you know it's just unbelievable just play something around king f8 king g8 and king h7 and let's play some chess but i don't know rook d7 queen e8 let's try for a bit right so the king is under attack in the center let's go back so yeah rook d1 queen g5 i don't know it's very very bad move king b1 rook d8 just rook f1 f6 and as you can see the king on e8 is very very bad piece and this bishop is on d5 is just incredible doing right and this pawn is also guarding him so yeah i'm in very big trouble rook d6 queen c3 of course don't forget that i don't have any time here to play so i'm playing you know like with my hand and really hope that i'm not losing in one move so queen b4 rook d7 yeah c4 queen e3 another a uh, little bit mistake but yeah of course all all of this here um makes zero z zero um sense because i'm just losing i don't have time to think right because you know uh, i go for it and queen e3 rook f3 was not an accuracy yeah it uh, was a mistake a little bit because queen g1 I had and after king a2, queen d4, it's very very complicated and to understand this one, yeah, I, I should have been Magnus Carlsen if I understand this uh, without uh, time on the clock. So queen b6 I played, queen a3 and yeah, I, this position is just very very um, bad one and also to defend this with these two rooks, I think very bad two rooks against very strong bishop, right? Uh, my two rooks need files, need rows, but nothing. Uh, yeah, so rook b6. Yeah, we, we played a little bit. Uh, I tried to do something, of course, but um, yeah, it's it's really bad position. Overall, yeah, rook h2. I don't know. The the computer says like draw, but I don't know. It seems like just really really bad position. King c5, king d6, e5, c5, c6, e6. I don't know. This king. Is very very bad uh, yeah it's it's not matter uh, for me what what the engine said because you know let's let's be players we we must understand the game is like um, for humans and not for computers and without time of course it's very very difficult to play uh, rook d6 yeah rook c6 and just h4 king coming to the game yeah e5 rook a7 e6 yeah it seems like this position just lost and 
Of course, I resigned the game, and after this game, I thought to myself, what really happened? You know, I felt like it was not a game. I didn't play. I thought, you know, 25 moves I played against computer, of course, because he was well prepared. And after it, uh, okay, of course, he did some mistakes, but I didn't had the opportunity to survive for me at least and uh, and yeah i felt like the time control was very bad for me i didn't have the time um to take responsibility and to find some solutions for my band decision in the opening so it was a very bad decision uh, to go for the preparation and uh, yeah it just enjoy uh, enjoy a very good game by with the white pieces just win me very easily i think and for him it was very important he took very good prize and a big prize and also you know the, the respect the honor to to take some uh, fifth place maybe fourth maybe three i i'm not sure and i'm not remember but yeah it was a good game by my opponent and uh, he well deserved uh, this game uh, this win um, he was well prepared and he achieved a very very important win and I achieved a very good lesson in my just career yeah so thank you very much for watching I really uh, appreciate if you can comment your thought about this game and if you uh, take something uh, from this video so see you soon don't forget to subscribe my channel to, for more chess content every day see you soon bye bye